on day 6 Eric suddenly decided that our game will be very Castlevania-like and instead of several locations on the island, everything will be happening in the castle. So we decided to use the first castle and even expand it by adding floors above and below the initial design. Meanwhile, Eric made the menu and was working on the saving system. Uh, while working on the shooting things in space game, he left the saving system for the last and had to rewrite a lot of code. Incidentally, I had to redo this part of the sculpt several times because I kept pressing wrong key combo to switch between the scenes in OBS and it crashed the blender 3 or 4 times together with the whole stream. So here I am fighting arms and hands while Eric can't stop comparing things he sees on my screen to something Lovecraft would write about. Frankly, I don't blame him. Hard to imagine that turning into something pretty. Day 7 we both spent doing artsy stuff. Eric was changing simple shapes he built the level with into brick walls and stone slabs, and I was sculpting those fingers. And later I was forced to finally add boobs. Also, if you haven't noticed, we added stream avatar to our streams. It's such a fun extension, I love catching stars, we even tried fighting bosses. Anyways, uh, sculpting boobs is not a joke, it took quite some time, but I was finally able to move on. Eric was moving on too. He started making the village that will be dramatically burning somewhere far away, evoking rage and thirst for blood in our vampire lady. He was using one of the acid kits we had. Uh, it was probably part of a bundle we bought long ago, don't remember exactly. We didn't have land and dirt materials, so Eric just screenshotted Google Maps and wanted to use it as a texture, until he found a better one in the acid store. Next step was to add fire, which turned out to be quite a task. I must say we haven't done the lights, materials and textures lessons for Unity Engine yet, so maybe we did something wrong, but nothing worked. I have had some experience making fire in Blender, and we contemplated animating the scene in Blender and adding it to the game as a video, but after some research we found out that it will make the game take much more space and we wanted to have the option for the main character to wear same cosmetics in the cutscenes as in the game. 
Uh, we don't know yet if we will add any, but just in case. So Eric had to figure out how to make a fire particle effect in Unity and he did great!